Hello and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL, and we're going to jump right into this immediately today without all the extra fanfare because this is huge. This is another, can you help me figure out the pattern from over on Reddit? And um, I won't be making this one because this thing is huge. If this is, this right here is the center, um, I'm guessing they had to have started in the center and worked their way out in both directions in order to have strings long enough to even make this thing. And this isn't just like a bracelet. This is more like like something you'd put on your hat. So, um, yeah, before you you know pull out your strings and think you're making a cool bracelet, this thing is super, super long. So I kind of got a little bit of a start on it. I already rotated and, and uh, got our, our image here. And I used the diamond, this part here, in order to kind of figure out um, how many strings it is. So it's 13 strings or 26 coming down, depending on how you do your counting, um, which is unusual. Like 13 is not... Um, something I see regularly. It's usually like 24, you know, like a 12 strings going up into the loop and 24 coming down. So this is all kinds of different. And then I can't definitively say that it is just the three colors. It looks to me like it's three colors, but then there's some kind of lighting issue or something around the parts off onto the side, which means that maybe it was four colors, but we're going to do this on the assumption that it was just the three colors. So these are our three. We have this sort of a, a nice peachy ish. Oh wait, it's the brown that's inside here. It's a nice kind of a peachy tan. We have this dark color and then we have the silvery light color. And, um, yeah, I know that the silvery light color, I just pulled it off of here. It doesn't quite look the same, but close enough for this. Um, what I did was I worked out how long this was going to be because even my graph paper doesn't go down this long. I had to extend this down quite a bit. And you can see I used the diamonds in here to determine where all the stuff goes. So, yeah. Again, this is this is some pretty big stuff. Um, and putting in the underlying strings, that's going to be a, a pretty big challenge as well, I'm guessing. So I'm kind of going to just wing this. We can see this goes up for three knots. This comes around, comes back in. This comes around this and comes all the way back to the center. Yeah, I'm not sure at what point we're going to start putting in the underlying strings. Because um, like I said, this there's just so much going on with this one. I kind of feel like maybe getting the a start on it kind of makes more sense. Okay, so this doesn't come all the way back to the other diamond because this comes out this way. And so that's right in here. Wow. There is literally just so much going on. Wait, did I do this right? No, this is, so this is here. This comes out this way. We have this diamond here. So this goes to the middle again. This comes up. Oh 
Okay. Wow. So yeah, it, I can see why somebody, you know, wanted help doing the pattern. This is not at all easy. So that's the first one. This is the second one. It comes that way. It also goes the other direction. Whoops, wrong color. Right. Yeah, and then there's like little dots and stuff out here. So that's got to be, got to figure out where the, those, all those colors and stuff come from. So the darker color comes around here. If you are the maker of this original um, bracelet and you're watching my video, um, first off, thank you for joining me. Secondly, um, I would love to hear what your inspiration was. What guided you to actually make this thing? This is pretty darn amazing. Um, I've played around a little bit with patterns of this kind of nature, but uh, this one, this one's a doozy. Oops, we don't know about that. Okay. And we have a brown dot in the center of these. And these go this way. You notice I'm concentrating just on the right hand side. The thing is symmetrical going, you know, half and half. So um, if I just fill in over here, I can flip the whole thing to the other side. So that's probably going to happen. Um, we can tell that this color does this. And we can tell that that makes sense. So I'm just kind of taking the easy one, the one color that's sort of different, that's sort of running through here, getting it in place. Again, it's always, always best if you take what's easy and kind of start there. Um, so yeah, this is, this is such a big project. I can't even, I kind of knew going into it. And this is, mind you, I don't want my channel to be strictly a um, answering how to do a pattern from something. Like, that's not my primary goal here. Um, I would like um, to hopefully be showing you guys how to work these kind of things out yourself, as well as... Um, maybe like getting you guys to think how you could come up with your own pattern, like how um, you saw this and you just want to do something in a similar style or difference and whatever, and that you go for it. So, yeah, but I couldn't turn down the challenge. This was, this was too good. Like I, I, as I looked at this, I was just like, wow, there is so much going on and, and, this would be exciting and kind of fun. So here you have me working it out. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to be like a one trick pony that only just does, you know, taking from pictures. Cause it seems like we've done a lot of those here lately. And, um, I'd rather be remembered for doing big projects and, um, the creativeness and stuff. 
I suppose I'll, that'll always happen. Like everybody will remember the fact that I was the guy that did some really crazy things. So that's for sure going that way. So you can see from putting in the underlying strings, a lot of this stuff is already starting to make sense. And again, if I just get one quarter of the bracelet done, I essentially have the whole thing done because I can copy and paste and shift things around. So that's, uh, that's nice and handy. So I'm going to assume that everything kind of mirrors itself, but I don't want to get too into that thought and mess this up. So I'm kind of sticking with the whole, you know, see where it comes from, see where it's going and not assuming that it's always going to match up right. But you can see, from following where the lines are, I'm able to sort of mesh up all this stuff. All right. And then we still have a bunch of little diamond things up here to put in. There's, there's seriously just so much going on in this. And I know that some of you will probably skip most of the video portion of this and go straight to my webpage, akawall.com, go into the tutorials section, find this, and find the pattern. And yeah, okay. Um, that's cool and all, but kind of hope that, you know, a good number of people want to watch and see how this is done. That's my hopes. So... That's interesting. So there's a brown here that Aha. Yeah, so basically looking for the loose ends anywhere where one string sort of just stopped and um, trying to pick up for, along that. So, yeah. Ah. Trying to slide this over. Interesting. So I have a white coming through this way. Has to be there because all these other in this row 
needed to come from somewhere. The question is, where does it actually come from? And the answer to that is, at the moment, I honestly don't know. This is probably that dot, right? We have mix this really things, the dots. It's really, it's not a super great photo. Um, but I'm sure the artist wasn't like, here, let me just take the most highest res so anybody can come along and uh, make this bracelet. So we're not even we're not even close to the middle yet. This is this is pretty crazy. I'm gonna guess this comes out straight and it's another one of the diamonds out here and it comes into being this. Hmm. And I messed up and got one of the outer parts. So control C, control V. Anchor it and back to the paint bucket. All right. So if I haven't mentioned it recently enough for you to know, the program we're using here is GIMP. It is a something GUI image manipulation something? I don't know. There's it stand GIMP stands for something, so all right. This was this one. This and this are here and then the white goes all the way to the outside well almost all the way and it comes from out here Right. Does that look right? One, two, three. No, it does not look right. I think it doesn't come out as far. I think it goes like that. And then this comes in and wraps around like that. Oh, I see why. Oh, I left it as a whole separate layer so I could move it. I forgot I did that. All right, so this is the area we're working on, which is this. That went that away and around. So this goes this away. I have to say, that was kind of clever of me, leaving that as a separate layer so I could actually shift it around when needed. <laughs> I forgot all about that. All right.
Yeah, I have no idea what color will be act actually used the most in this. Um, but I can tell you there's a lot of string that would go into making this thing a lot. It's, I like, I, I guess you can tell I can't get over the absolute size of this thing. This is huge. So that's this one. Now we're kind of coming up on the center, which is good. So that goes that away. And then there is a spiral like that. And then from this one, uh, is that right? One, two, yeah, it's gotta be three knots, right? So three up, down, and back, and that comes to the center. So that's this piece here. So that brings us, that is us all the way to the center. All right, not bad. The fact that it's already been done lets me know that this is possible. If we were trying to create this from scratch, um, there'd be a lot more um, concentrating higher up as to um, making sure that the strings will be available where we want them to be available because um, you can't just put anything anywhere it doesn't work like that it's oops um, you need to be able to see like this like the, the this tan can kind of move through with the, whatever else you're working with. So like it couldn't be down an extra row or something because um, it needs to be able to connect. But we can already see that everything works out. So, I mean, yeah, this is cool. That basically is everything for the tan. I think that there are more whites in here based on the dots up at the beginning part. I think See all this up here? It's really hard to tell from this picture all the stuff that's going, kind of going on. Okay, so see we have a brown that didn't have a thing. We need to trace it back upwards and see where does it go? There. And we have more dots out here. See, the interesting part is, is they seem to be of like different colors, but I mean, it could be like they just ran the tan to be the dots out here, 
is that what's going on? Because it really doesn't. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can do that. I guess I could put this, these dots here like that. And it's, it doesn't seem to go to the edge. It's almost all dark out this way, all right? I don't see them at the edge. I know that like this inner one here is white. And you know, there's just more like one dot there. There's three dots here. So I'm going to guess it's these again. So this is kind of making sense. Not sure. Not sure about how. Oh, the diamonds get to where they're supposed to be. That sort of makes sense. I guess that can be, and that can be. Sure. Yeah, I know I'm kind of jumping around a bit here. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, there's still so much to work out. I have no idea. So yeah, let's assume that this is correct here. So the path works out just fine. Oh, wow. There's like a straight row all the way through the insides of all of this to get to here. That is fascinating. One of those I didn't expect that. Um, in the middle of this, is that a problem? It is. Oh, that's cool.
Okay. Yeah, there's, uh, we're getting closer. We're definitely getting closer. All right, let's go back to our obvious stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm hitting this pattern first thing in the morning. I still have coffee in front of me. So excuse me while I take a sip. I was obviously very excited about trying to work this out. And um, I am definitely not disappointed. This is, this is some pretty crazy stuff. And again, I'm hoping you're learning something from watching this. This is, I don't do this surely for the fun of my, you know, myself. If I was just doing it for fun, I would just um, work this all out and post the pattern and uh, be done with it without actually making the video. Because obviously, it's harder to make the video. It's harder to sit here and talk to myself and um yeah but there is hope that some of you learn a little something from all of this And you can see I do a lot of trying to make sure that I have the directions of the string kind of going in the area where I know it's going to turn up again like this making the corner there it's uh it could have gone out straight but it's more likely that it's coming inwards especially since we have these tan ones running through there um it just makes more sense that it came inwards as opposed to outwards okay so there's all of those this comes out here. This is dark running around all this. You can, I don't know if you can tell by my re responses, but I'm uh, calculating out where things go like really quickly here. I assume that's like that. Let's go back here a ways.
So there's obviously way more dark browns to be added in here because they make up what's outside there. But I'm trying to connect the dots of this stuff that's going on on the inside. And then we will sort those out as well. So if you guys make this, um, I would like to see it, especially if you go for the full length. Um, I really kind of want to see how long this thing actually is. There's a possibility that like maybe they're using really, really thin string and it's not as long as I'm guessing it would be. But I mean, like if I do this with my floss, right? this thing is definitely going to be really 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 long like like maybe i'm gonna guess it'd be longer than an anklet even you know and uh anklets are pretty long i'd also like to know how much the original artist was charging for it because um personally I would say that this is a lot of work and um, they deserved a pretty fair amount as opposed to making for yourself. I mean, honestly, I would like to see artists get paid for coming up with things and doing the, the work to make it happen. But yeah, I'm not making it at this length. That's not happening. Um, however, I do think that uh, I will figure out a shorter version of this and see how that goes. There's some white coming through this way. So maybe that's not. Yeah, maybe that goes that way. So we have a little white diamond right there. Okay. Was there any other browns that I didn't? All right, so we know that this is dark. Aha, there was one right there. So I'm finding a lot of little spaces that were missed as I went through it. It's important to uh, make sure that you fill in those little gaps as you find them. And it's, this is at this point, there's a lot of like what I would almost call like a proofreading. Like I'm, I'm looking into this and trying to uh, make sure that, yeah, that can go this way. Yep, that makes sense. These things are all um, correct in the way it does. Like, you can't just have a string coming in and disappear and then pop back up somewhere else. It doesn't, it never works like that. That's not a thing. Like, see, like how there was a string coming out here that sort of just just stopped. That's not a thing. It can't do that.
And so by putting it in, we can see it filled in a bunch of the other blanks that we had going on out over here. Okay, now we gotta go back up and find this one. See that that's a thing. I still have to say I'm pretty impressed with how this whole pattern worked out. Like whoever first designed it had to put in a lot of work to make this happen. Wait, something's wrong here. That white came through here and here. Unless Unless these dots are in fact white because we need it to be white right here. We may have actually found a reason why that can't be a tan. Let's see, was there any other whites that didn't get their connection brought down? No. In order to make this spiral, that has to be a light color. It has to be white. That's unfortunate because I kind of like the idea of the tans being out there, but in order for this So what happens with this brown? I guess that brown comes through that way. And so this is now um, plausible. It couldn't go the other way. That's okay. Again, it was hard to tell from the picture what the colors were out here.
And you can see I'm just basically tracking it backwards, changing it from one color to another. And this is, this is normal when trying to create a pattern that you've never done before. You find out sometimes things have to go away differently than you uh, had imagined. All right. We have two strings left. So that is white as well. So it goes dark, tan, dark, white, dark, white, dark, white, dark, white, dark. I wonder if it's white and then dark. I wonder if they balanced out. The colors. Let's see what happens. Seeing as how it alternated through almost all of it, I can't imagine that the last two just suddenly become brown. I could be totally wrong. I could have to totally back this whole strand out that I'm putting in. But so far, it's working just fine. Which is kind of funny. Yeah, so that worked itself all the way through. All the rest of this is all worked out pretty well. Yeah, so then the last string is brown. And I know that it looks like this string is just going kind of straight, but you can change its direction like when it comes in like this. So, uh, yeah. So missed a, the light one there. Again, we did all of the easier parts first, and then uh, everything kind of fell into place. And sometimes, sometimes you like the the whole seeing how the colors alternate. You kind of get a gist of what maybe how they kind of started it. So um, that's pretty cool. All right, so now I want to bring this up here and see if we can't figure out this whole dotted thing.
that's not quite right, is it? Because those go that way. Mind you, I still have to map these out. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit tricky. But it doesn't do it on the very edge. Why does it not do it on the very edge? So we can kind of make, whoops, this just zigzag. And that will be why there's no dots on the edge. So that's that one. This one. This white just seems to go straight up that way, I guess. We've got a brown this way and a brown this way, so there's two browns here. Two whites right here. Okay. Two browns here, two browns there. This is white. I might be making this more complicated than it needed to be, but it is working out. So, I mean, it is what it is. Like if I could have seen how they had their strings laid out at the very edge, I could have mimicked that a little bit better. But this is starting to look kind of like how one might expect it. I bet you the white came out this way. Kind of like how these went. But it still works out. It's still a thing. So there we have it. We have one quarter done. And it is huge. Look how big this is. It is huge. All right. Now comes the whole flippy part. 
All right, so you can see I highlighted our, our quarter here. I'm going to copy and paste it, go to our tool, and this time it's going to be horizontal, flip, take our moving tool, and bring it over and lock it onto our grid that we created. And there you can see now we have the entire top half. We anchor that layer. And then we take the whole top half. We got it all in the thing. Control C, Control V. Go back to our flip tool. This time it's vertical. Go to our moving tool. And bring it down here and get it to line up. Is that? Yeah. And we have to zoom way out in order to get the whole thing into frame. But there it is. You can see that is the pattern. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know this is probably a long one, um, but I wanted to do it and I have done it. That was a challenge. And um, hopefully maybe you guys give this one a try. I, I, I'd be interested to see how it turns out. So um before I go, I want to thank my Patreon supporters who make all these videos possible. I couldn't do it without their support. So you can come and join me over on Patreon. It's Patreon forward slash AKA AWOL. And uh, that would be cool. Be sure to give a like and maybe leave a comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe. So, and um, as always, don't get your strings in a bunch. <laughs>